I made a video about God being a balanced God. And a viewer disagreed with me, which is okay. As long as you are being respectful to me, you can disagree with me all day long. <laughs> no problem. Very good comment. So let me paraphrase what this person said. So this person was saying, let's say that there are two people. The first person is more evil as it seems. The first person is more evil than the second person. So it seems that the second person is getting more cursed than the first person. So the viewer, the viewer was saying, how can this be? God can't be a balanced God because he is cursing the second person more than the first person. So this is what the viewer was pretty much saying. Okay. As humans, do we know half of everything? No. I mean, do we know everything? No. Do we know a half of everything? No. Do we know a quarter of everything? No. So you can agree with me, as humans, we don't know much. Yes. Okay. So, since we don't know everything, we don't know everything about people. We only see or know parts and pieces. So, when it comes down to people, we only know parts and pieces about people. So how can we accurately judge a person when we only know parts and pieces? How can I say that you deserve this, but don't deserve that? How can I say that when I don't see the whole picture? Only God know everything. Only he does. We were made not to know everything. So we can't really judge. This is why it is important for us to read the Bible. This is why it is important. So that we can have help and learn a lot more. Not lean to our own understanding. Okay. Let's go to Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So what does that mean? Whatever you do, whether it is good or bad, it is going to come back to you. So curses comes with disobedience and blessings come with obedience. So you will get blessed when you do good. You will, you will be cursed when you do bad. Okay. Do I have a scale? <laughs> okay. Let's take a two-sided scale. Let's say that <laughs> <laughs> These markers are a scale. So it is equal, right? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> let's say on this side here, or this side, let's do this side. Let's say on this side, you put your bad deeds on it. Like on this scale, so it goes down. So this side is going to go up. Okay. Okay. So when you do good, or when you are placing your good deeds on this side of the scale, this side is going to go down, and this side is empty, so this side is going up. 
So when you are doing good, what does God does? He puts blessings on this side, right? Then what happens? It comes down and this goes up. It kind of evens out. Okay. Everything is even. Let's say you are putting your bad deeds on this side, right? So this side goes down and this side goes up. So since you are doing bad, okay, God is going to curse you. Okay, so this side is going down and it is going to just about balance out. Of course, there is grace. So we may not receive the full punishment that we deserve. But what I am trying to say, God is a balanced God. You can't say that God is not a balanced God because you saw this person kill and steal and blah, blah, blah. And this person over here does not seem like they are bad. But you say that that person is the person that is not as bad is being punished more than the first person that is so bad, as you say. You don't see the whole picture. You don't know everything that is happening to that person in life. You don't know everything that is happening to the other person unless you are speaking about yourself, which came to me. You are either speaking about yourself or about someone that you know. You don't see the full picture. This is why, now we can ask God questions and stuff like that, which is not wrong. But we can't question God like, hey, I don't think you should do that. Other than, hey God, can you tell me why you did this and that because I don't understand. Does that make any sense? If you don't understand, you can ask God, but you can't say like, hey, God, what you did was wrong and you really should have, you really should not have done that. Everything balances off. Galatians 6 and 7. Because whatever you do, something back is coming to you. Whether it is good or bad. Does that make any sense? Whatever you do, God is going to come to you in a particular way. So things have to balance pretty much off. Yes, grace, yes, but pretty much things are going to balance off. Let's go to Romans 2 and 11. Amen. For there is no respect of persons with God. So this is saying there is no favoritism. God shows no one favoritism. So you can't say that, well, these two people, one seems to be more evil than the second. So you can't say that God is showing the first one favoritism. You can't say that. Why? Because it says it right here. And I believe in Peter, 1 Peter 3 and 10, I believe. I'm not sure. But it says, Romans 2 and 11, that God shows no one favoritism. So when you say that God is not balanced, that means that he is showing some people favoritism. And that is wrong. And it goes right back to what I was saying. God... Yeah, it goes right back to what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> All of this talking. <laughs> you are going to reap whatever you sow. I lost my train of thought. My Lord. So there is no respect of persons. So you can't say that 
God is showing more favor to one person than the other. That is not right, as you can see. So I really hope people can understand this. Things have to pretty much balance off. Why? Because of Galatians 6 and 7. Whatever you do, something is coming back to you. So, you, so a person can't say, well, I am doing all of these good things and no good is coming back to me. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. When you do good, blessings are coming your way. So you can't say no good is coming back to you because if you do bad and bad things are coming to you, well, if you do good, good has to come too. There is no one-sided deal in this. So continue to do good. Perhaps God will open your eyes to see the good that he is doing to you because of what you are doing. Well, you know, I continue to do good and, you know, no one appreciates me. Who cares if people appreciate you? You are being paid back. You are being paid back whether you know it or not. So continue to do good. Even if no one says thank you, even if no one's pay you back, continue doing good. Because God sees it, angels see it, demons see it, and you better believe that you are going to get paid back, perhaps not in the way that you want, but it goes right back to what I was saying. We don't know everything. So how do we know what, what we want or need in life? We don't. We don't know what we want and need in life, so thank God he takes care of it for us. I know that we want money and stuff like that, but that may not be the best thing for us at that time period. Maybe we need better health. Maybe God saved us so many times from car accidents and stuff like that. That plays a part in reaping and sowing. So what is the point of saying, hey, God, what I want to reap and sow in is money, <laughs> money, cars, clothes and stuff like that. The next thing you know it, boom, you get hit by a car. What happens to your money, cars and clothes? <laughs> All gone. But you said that you wanted money, cars, and clothes, but you just got hit by a car. <laughs> what good is those things for you now? <laughs> we don't know what we need. So thank God he chooses for us what we reap and sow in. I mean, what we reap. When we do good, thank God that he chooses the good things that come to us and the bad things as well. Does that make any sense? God knows what is best for us. We don't know. Why? Because we don't know everything. We don't know half of everything. We don't know a quarter of everything. So if we are like <laughs> ant-brained people, <laughs> A-N-T, ant brain people who are we to say God <laughs> you need to do more of this and less of that for that person or more of this and less of that for me we don't know nothing hardly does that make any sense I really hope so God bless